Okay, what is your name? Frank. Now, let's talk about taxes in the USA. What do you think is going on with the taxes in USA? They're too high, and they're criminalizing what is normal human behavior, which is to pay as little in taxes as is allowed within the rules. Now, uh, do you know anything about the Green Party? I do know a few things about the Green Party. Um, what Green Party is... Uh, what Green Party wants, they want to raise the taxes for the rich, not the poor, the rich. How do you feel on raising taxes for the rich? Um, I think it's unproductive because in the end that incentivizes people not to work harder and means lower economic growth. And second, it, it encourages avoidance of, of income, which means that, again, economic activity is reduced and or people move money to, to areas where the taxes are lower. Now, how do you feel about libertarians? What do you what do you, about what about their tax incomes? If a libertarian was president, what do you think a libertarian would do to the taxes? Well, I think libertarians would require that the taxes be kept as low as possible to a point where only those essential functions of government would be supported. Um, meaning that we would have less government, more individual freedom lower taxes as a result. Mm, interesting. So the Libertarian Party is interested in freedom? Libertarians by definition are for individual freedom hmm. over that of the, of the power of the state. Okay, interesting. Um, now if if Republicans would be a president, actually they have, they have many times, if a Republican was, was a president, what would they do to the taxes? Well, I think they're going to be kind of in between. I think their taxes will, will still be higher than what the Libertarians would want, but lower than, than let, let's say, the Green Party would re require. They would also um, have less individual freedom. You know, one of the issues of the Republican Party is that they don't really believe in Libertarian values, which is, um, you know, freedom for the individual, because um, they want to regulate what people think and do in their own private homes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if now, right now we, now, right now we have a Democratic. What do Democrats like to do to the taxes? What do Democrats do? Well, generally they want more government and more government programs. And what do you mean by... Higher, what, higher taxes as a result. What do you mean by government programs? Um, they want programs to... Um, support those who don't work um, because they say, well, they don't have a job, they need to have money because they're, they're um, handicapped or because they're old, they need to have government support. When, when they fail to realize that the best source of, of support for people in need are people with wealth. So by taxing the wealthy, they actually reduce the amount of funds available to help the, the poor. Okay. Um, now let's talk about something that is out of the question about America. Not communism, but in between. Socialism. Can you, before you, we talk about socialism, can you explain what's, what the difference between communism and freedom? What is in between? Why is socialism in, the, in between? Well, because you can, uh, communism assumes that there, are, that, that there should be no differences. Socialism realizes that there could be some differences between individuals because so, of God-given talent, the hard work they've de done to develop their talents, etc. Uh, the difference is, is what they, uh, socialism wants is those with more means, i.e. richer people, people who can make more money, pro provide more to society than, than, uh, than others who can't be as productive. The issue with that approach is that it creates a disincentive for those who can work more and work, be more productive to do, to do more work. And because uh, in the end, they, there's no a, a way for them to distinguish themselves sufficiently in, in that type of system. So, uh, can you name just one country that is not communism, not communistic, but f not free, but socialistic? Uh, France is a great example of socialist country. Okay, so what um, uh, 
what do you, in your opinion, what do you think works better? Communism or socialism? Socialism works better than communism. But because? But both are exceedingly inferior to capitalism. But what do you like about socialism better than communism? Because at least they distinguish, they recognize that some individuals are, in, va in fact, more productive than others, and therefore should be allowed some ex ex additional perks within that system. Yeah, because my mom, she told me that uh, in North Korea, if you are a scientist and you create and you are create the best discovery in the whole country of North Korea, literally the best discovery of the, of the history of North Korea. You get fifteen dollars, and that is and and if you sold cheese, as simple as that, you would get fifteen dollars. Everyone is created equally. That's 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 an example of common. Except for except for the leader Kim Jong Un, who gets basically everything. That's right. So, that is communism. And what um, do you think that France? Is go is doing good and will stay a country for a lot longer, or do you think it will crash and burn and get destroyed? Well, compared to North Korea, France will last much longer than North Korea. That's for well, sure. Well, don't do comparison. Let's talk about this. Well, I think you you have to answer that question in comparison. Um, France is less sustainable than the U.S. Uh, the U.S. is the most sustainable um, of all the major powers. Um, and clearly, North Korea is unsustainable. They're a country that is destined to fail. Yes, but they are uh, doing threats to destroy South Korea, and that is why we, the Americans or, or other countries give food to the North Korea. Right. The only thing that North Korea has to, their, to make them relevant is military. The, the, their threats of military action. That's correct. Because South Korea has a really bad military. Yeah, no offense, South true. Koreans. Uh, and let's get back to France, please. Mm -hmm. So, in your prediction, if France stays a socialism forever, and I mean forever, um, do you think how do you think that it will ever crash and burn? Yes, I think that. Okay. That, 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 that within. Generations, they will re reach a point where their their system is unsustainable. Well, I have a question. They're not there already. How much How much years do you think it will take for France to crash and burn? Well, I think they're crashing and burning already. It's just that they're they're trying. no completely, where they can't take it and their country well, is it's, destroyed. It's, it's hard to predict, Rafe. I mean, um, it could be fifty years, it could be two hundred years. It's really hard to predict, but just try your best. Um, I would say between fifty and a hundred years. Fifty and a hundred, you say? Okay. Yeah, between that. So about one point two generations. Or more, probably about two a generation is about twenty something years. So, two generations. Really? Yeah. Well, I thought a generation was eighty years. No, it's when you're old enough to have kids. Kids. Okay, that was off topic, but thank you, and uh, we will look more into socialism and communism next episode. See you later, folks.